Welcome back to the Pegasus Expedition. Turn 20. So we've got a situation going on in the bow system regarding some ex-Raw Clan fighters. They're still resisting our occupation with guerrilla-style hit-and-run tactics. The Taminan have famously had trouble pacifying their systems. And I can see why we should respond to it somehow. To the somehow. Uh, unless you're going to genocide them outright, you pretty much can only show them that um, we are better. We need to win over the population not the fighters, invest more in place. And, like, I might be nuking the ever-living shit out of this galaxy, but I am actually... Tips Fedora, I'm actually a nice guy. I'm not here to enslave everyone. Like, this is... We're only here because we got a bit of a situation back home. So it looks like we've had a limited amount of time before the Terminal Empire decides we are not going to... We have. Okay, alright, I thought she was already moving. I was going to say, what the f We only just spoke to her. Occupying any new star system will immediately show them our true intentions. So conquer wisely, I see. Altered photosynthesis. So was that another pop growth one? Ignore the toxic hazard as a instruction restriction. Shit, yeah. Ah, uh, now we're going to Diplomatic AI. Self-repair is like not that important, so I think we'll just ship plating. We'll fill out this uh, bottom row. Okay, so as I was saying, we will begin one fleet. And a colony. So let's select a colony. Okay, instead of a colony, we'll get a governor here. You're an alien population. So we'll go with a local governor. And this is a regular settlement. Civilian quarters. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I already fucked up my original plan. You fool. Midsummer. It's midsummer. Sure, it doesn't feel like summer with all the artificial light and the tad too chilly space and in, spatial interiors. Unless you go to Bo or some other desert resort. Or would you like to mark the day somehow? Let all unessential personnel take a day off. It may drop our productivity this month, but should make them a bit happier. It's only 61 minerals. Director, we have been discussing a certain subject for a while. When fighting the Colossals, the way reconnaissance worked was flying close enough and then getting away in time with no need to be discreet. Here, however, we could use some more refined espionage because we might not want to let the ones being spied on find out that they are being spied on. Yeah, and I said that we should form a special unit out of the people in the Planetary Invasion Forces. Those are the ones who are most versed in small unit tactics and close combat if necessary. So we take some people from UPIF to form what exactly? The European Union Special Operations Force, USOF, to be more compact but not exactly any more clear. <laughs> Really? Yes, some bureaucrat somewhere at home has already decided how we have to name our forces. Name the side, it would involve training small elite units of operatives capable of very sensitive actions in enemy territory, both spying and even sabotage if necessary. Yeah, they should be able to do all kinds of things. 
but we'll of course start with a pilot project first, forming one unit and seeing how everything works out. Very well, inform me when they are ready for action. So what we need to do now, hopefully it doesn't cost too much, is create an intelligence bureau. Oh my god, 750. Fuck me, dead. Fleet Beacon Intelligence Bureau. Yeah, I'm really only going to be able to produce... One type of ship here? And then that fleet's going to have to fly to another place. Okay. Fuck me dead, that was a lot of resources. Uh, actually, we can start a fleet, can't we? Right, our Admiral. 10% cruiser damage. Damage reduction. Ooh, two tens. Fuck yeah, that's nice. Cruiser damage and frigate damage. Oh shit, and then one piece of equipment's gonna give a bonus to both. The frigates, cruisers. Next turn. Was it 25 units of happiness? Minus 10. Okay, we can eat that cost. Shit, yeah. Everything's coming up Millhouse now. Additional communication systems that make it easier and more efficient to share large amounts of data across the entire fleet. Results in slightly better firing coordination and evasive maneuvers. Okay, okay. Feeling pretty good now. Feeling less like we're on the edge, the knife's edge. Research. Hmm. Okay, let's pump technology. Especially because we can use it for uh, earning money later. If we can ever get out of becoming a, a, the galactic nemesis permanently. This is going to have to end up becoming a shipyard system as well. One shipyard upgrades into orbital dry dock. Advanced munitions plant unlocks artillery two units. Fleet repair. Shipyard. I should be able to build one of each of these structures as well. Two spaces, plus potentially any extra uh, special structure here I might need. So I should be able to fit the fleet beacon in as well. Nice, I'm actually feeling pretty good. I'm feeling really good about this actually. Minus 120. Okay, so this would be the path we take as we expand further on. We're not going through here, obviously. We are threats now. Nice, nice. We're the good guys, remember? Don't worry, we're professionals. Professional what? Ferris Bueller's day off. So, what we have to do now as part of our mission is an operative. Oh, we're noticed. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, they got no bonuses here. Let's go by name Lucy Evans, Ryan Turner, Gis Gisela? Gisela? Name Lucy. Let's go with Lucy. So, can they tell that they've got an operative in their territory? Like, it's not going to lower relations, is it? What operations can you do? Can you raise relations? 
Antimatter detonation. <laughs> Chimera bioweapon. Look, if I ever have to use any of this stuff, it's because I've got no other choice. Alright? We're the good guys. Let's go have a look. Cruiser and flagship. Don't know if I'm going to need shielding down here. I know these other guys have shielding, so I may have to choose it. Not enough resources. Okay. Next turn, I'm really going to have to pump the asteroid miners, although they use a lot of energy. And by the time power becomes a big problem, um, I should have the solar harvesters on the way by that point. Okay, still not making a move on us. Go with the environmental shielding. One more spot free. Okay, you're still building. Let's build another one over here just to max it out. Flagship and unit damage. Who was annihilated? The Dijou clan. Dijou. Like, what kind of star is that? Is that a neutron star? Is that the kind of star that is going to have, like, a facility for it? Black hole reactor. Requires one of the following star types. Okay, I imagine what's going to happen is I'm just going to have to build some asteroid harvesters. And if I have to demolish the buildings later, I'll just have to do that. As reluctant as I will be. Cannot attack that faction. I'm not trying to attack a faction. I'm gonna leave this guy here just to be safe. So he can move and reinforce wherever I have to go. I have reports from the bow system, sir. Our extra spending has managed to turn the heads of the local population. Many claiming that life on bow has never been this good, despite our occupation. The gorillas disagree, of course, but without local support, they're becoming pretty toothless. Great, money, booth, <laughs> money beats both the pen and the sword. That is a superpower. Okay, there you go. 
I imagine that's because we had spies in there. Oh boy. I really don't know why. I imagine that's probably just an indicator that they want to go to war with us. Let's see what these guys are up to. Okay, let's build one. Artillery and frigates. Oh, nice! Darius Combine. Just took the raw HQ. The raw capital. A new contact. Ankorom. So we've encountered something that is clearly a civilization we've never seen before. We're not sure yet if it is biological or artificial. But it is intelligent for sure, and very technological. Our local informants refer to them as Ankorum, and they are apparently quite recent newcomers here. How should we proceed? Yeah, they shouldn't be too hostile. Very well, sir. We'll try reaching out to them. So, good news, the first Yusof uh, operative unit has finished his training and is now in Zoka, ready for action. This will hopefully ease our intelligence situation. Uh, we are working with a somewhat lacking understanding of the situation due to not having eyes further behind the lines. Very good. How about training more of them? If you deem this unit useful enough, we can train more. For larger scale training of Usof uh, units, we will need a specialized facility. It goes in our formal language by Intelligence Bureau, Bureau but it'd basically be a base of operations and a training facility. Yes, I said if you deem them useful enough, Director. But the fact is there's a lack of tools for reconnaissance and espionage, and this is what we have, or could have. We'll send this unit on a mission and then see when and where we could construct that bureau. Well, we're already way ahead of that. So I want to see what's going on in their territory. What do you have up here? Who are you? A Goa colony. I'll need to capture another habitable planet. 
essentially to build a bunch of fleet beacons on it. Unlock a technology that allows me to build on one of the hazard planets that's blocked off. So we've established communication with a faction that calls itself the Ancorum Pegasus Provisional Government or Ancorum PPG as they are abbreviating. We are ready for an audience should we wait or should we want it. For sure, let's meet up with them. Or postpone it, because they may send us on a mission. I'd rather postpone it if possible. We're kind of busy right now. Okay, we have solar harvesters. So, I imagine that symbol there means I can build one of these. Okay, I'm pretty happy so far with how everything's lining up. Turn 30. Galactic reputation noticed. So our recent actions have started to change the way we are viewed by other factions in the galaxy. Neither Empress Solik nor the Raw Clan ever cared much for us, but their views are becoming more widely accepted. We should watch our behavior. This may eventually develop into a tricky situation, to say the least. So normally that's triggering when you're going from diplomatic to noticed. That's why it's worded that way. Uh, so I have been neglecting the exploration. Ika. No. I am wondering, should I just pump out fleet bases in the extra slots to increase our fleet size? Does that have any effect on our economy? No, we pay for it right here. What about here? Minerals are the basic resource used for the construction of every unit and structure. They represent all common materials used by the infrastructures and manufacturing facilities of all spacefaring civilizations. In addition to various mining facilities, your mineral output can be increased through diplomacy by agreeing on free trade rights uh, with another faction. I'm thinking your fleets, once you've built them, they're sort of all free. So what I might do is just pump out a bunch of fleet bases. And then as we expand, we can reduce the number in uh, the core territories. Flagship or cruisers?
Let's see if you got any resources to trade. No, they're pretty low as well. Ah, uh, excuse me. Probably gonna hurt you if I take whatever you've got. That's cruisers. It's attack damage. Extra 15 health. Okay, I can wait till next time. Oh no, he lost us. He lost territory up here. You already don't like me. I think we're almost ready to punch out of this system. Yeah, we can't do anything with you yet. That's research number 12.
Kind of looking forward to when the Empress contacts us again. It's Christmas again, sir. We kind of set a precedent last time, but do you want to follow that or change your mind? We'll celebrate the holidays, Carolina. It's important to keep up morale. Agreed. Happy holidays, sir. Thank you. So I don't know how long she's going to sit there and wait. But I can still keep, keep building more fleets. English is hard. If you are an idiot like me, anyway. Fleet base shipyard. We'll just keep pit pumping as many fleets as we can. And then crush the Empress when it's go time. Taminan Declaration of War. See that you have made your decision. We tried to be patient with you, but you didn't take your chance. And just keep on expanding. Now your time is up. We've run out of patience. This is war. Empress and Tan Solek of the Taminan Empire. So be it then. We didn't exactly arrive here quietly sure but we were never seeking this and it was only going to get worse at Anaba we would see for good who were here to stay so this is it the respite is over damn it here we are the EWC will meet ASAP to discuss our strategy. In any case, we should mobilize all our forces in preparation. I'm afraid we're not ready for this. Really, no matter how much we try to prepare now. Probably not, but what else do you suggest? Praying, maybe. There's no way out of this mess. We'll just have to come through it somehow. While waiting for the EWC meeting, I suggest moving out our forces towards the border of the Taminan Empire. We'll begin the necessary precautions. We're going to call this episode here. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.